very like that. Sultan. Get out. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got a paid back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. As they say, a bird must be a part of Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. Gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley, poor son senior himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Harold, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the fight. Who won? Well, I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost, and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection, you of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average run-of-the-mill girl. Give her a smile. Notice her shoes. Let her chat about them a bit. And she turned into a wellspring of passion. See you, Dandelion. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. 
So why'd you return? It was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it. I can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. Heridan's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? We should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. So long, Tris. Geralt? think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. What did Aridin want from you, exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with him. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did. And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What?
Thanks, Yen. See you later. How are you feeling? Better. I thank you. If you'd not arrived in time, things might have ended considerably worse. I am your debtor. Thank Yennefer. It was her idea, her plan. Thought Margarita Loantil would be among the last to get nabbed by witch hunters. Were it dependent solely on me, of course I would. But you forget I had my students to consider. I knew the hunters would eventually reach Aratusa. It was but a matter of time. So when I heard Triss was organizing escapes to Kavir, I saw no reason to hesitate. I gathered my novices and we rode here to Novigrad. Sadly, we were caught and thrown in Dayrath before I could contact Triss. Didn't see any other sorceresses in there with you? Because they'd already been executed. But a lie, one after the other. The most talented girls in the north. Radovid was saving me for last. If you're here, what's become of Eratusa? The day I arrived in Novigrad, I received a message from the visitor to Kati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burn. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Vivera. The rest are dead. It is over. Later I learned priests of the Eternal Fire stood amidst the Academy's ruins, promising the rabble that such a punishment awaited all mages and traitors. Farewell, Rita. never expected this of you. You humans have mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know. So she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. You make it sound important. So, guess it's not exactly common knowledge. I'd even call it a secret. How do you manage to hide it? Oh, I assure you he's excellent at covering his tracks, though not terribly subtle. But I'm even better at uncovering them. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here. Show him the truth of what happened. Fabulous plan. If we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL.
think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, we must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before, were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea? Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. They 
just keep coming. We can't hook the Three, two, one. They're very good. On time. What a relief. Quickly, jump in. Have a look. Vapors don't look terribly inviting. <coughs> Damn it, gotta hold my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. Have a look. There it is.
papers don't look terribly inviting. <coughs> Damn it, gotta hold my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. avoid those clouds or bolt through them. to death if I don't hide somewhere. And I gotta find that next passage quick. If I can just find cover along the way, I should make it to the passage.
night in a place like this. Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. Snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. What else? Might have expected this.
took you a while. Did you run into trouble? Mm, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridan's projection here. Before that, Ciri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Ciri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek, but I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dara, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. This to you, Nalia? The Palace of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace. Gel's headquarters. Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated. No reason to tarry. Come. No reason to tarry. Come. 
I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivana Spain, at Corman Maca and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Griva? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Got any vodka? Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting you don't touch that filth, disgraceful as it is. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. Honesty's not a facet of your species, so quit spewing bile won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me, so I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Tired of your pseudo-sophisticated courtesy. Let's go. Where to, if I might ask? To the world of the Enche. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Tsirael. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not?
dead. Long live the king. You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Naga Fair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalarch knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. He got off cheap and easy. Sold us a few pieces of advice, some story about a sunstone. He gave us his assurance that he'll not support Eredin. And that is quite a lot. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that. Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Gather everyone and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. <laughs> 